What's up guys? Today we're going to be going over Google. Going into the close today, we saw massive unusual flow on Google, Meta, and Microsoft. And in this video, we're going to go over the weekly chart on Google, talk about this major support that has to hold, or we could potentially see another 30 to 40% drop. We're going to go over that unusual flow. We're going to talk about what makes it unusual, what was the strikes, what exactly the play was, and if I'm ultimately following it. So hit the like button, subscribe, check out our Discord community, completely free, link is in the description. You guys get access to free courses, free live streams, free seminars and webinars. Over 9,000 of you have joined in the past year since we started this. It's absolutely crazy. And our goal by the end of next year is 25,000 members. I will work myself to the bone to hit that. That's how much I believe in everything that we're building and everything that we're doing. So go check it out, link in the description. Let's get into some charts. Looking at Google on the weekly, same setup as Microsoft. If you haven't, go back and watch the Microsoft video that we made earlier. Same type of setup, descending wedge going into the 200 SMA. But you can see here on Google, same thing. Descending wedge as the stock is making lower lows. We're also making lower highs going into this apex or fixed point on the 200 SMA. And the 200 SMA is a very, very strong indicator, especially on the weekly. Last time we hit the 200, we bounced like an MF or all the way up to 150. I'm not expecting that to happen, but something just to realize we did get this uh, cross here on the stochastic RSI. And if we close like this right now, it's looking like the cross is going to happen back down. And I'm telling you, if we close this week under 90 or right around 90, things are not going to fare well. We need to hold this level. If we cannot hold this level, I want you to take into account how low the volume is. We have a low pocket of volume right here down to 77 bucks. So if we snap this and we can't hold, Google is dropping at least another 16%. If we were to snap through that level, the next area, because of how low the volume is, would be all the way down here at 60, which from here down to $60, sorry, I just minimized that, from here down to 60 bucks, is close to a 35% drop. So we need to hold this level or we could see these numbers grow significantly worse over the next couple of months, which ultimately I believe is what will happen. I don't have a massive short position out, but that is something to be aware of uh, that could really screw a lot of things up if you're a long-term investor. Now, looking at how this thing has performed past month, we're down 6%, three months down 20%, six months down 20%, year to date down 36%, which is not atrocious in this market. Uh, in the past one year, we're down 36%. So Looking at Google, we have to hold the 200 SMA. No ifs, ands, or buts, we have to. Now let's take a look at the flow that came through. So today at 318, we had big 119, 2024 calls come through. So basically one year and three months, strike is $87. So it's pretty deep in the money right now because we're trading at 92.50. You can see that it was the same strike, so same exact date, same exact strike, same exact you know option. You can see that they were sweeps and they came in on the ask. We This A or AA at the end of the detail is very important because it means it came in on the ask or above the ask, which means that we know 100% sure this is somebody buying a call. They're not selling a call. This is someone buying a call. Could it be a hedge? Yes, but looking at how this has come through, it doesn't seem to be a hedge. The vol or value is $17 million. And then a second one came through for $4 million. So basically $21 million came through, which is very, very unusual and a lot of money for even something like Google on a single option. So does this mean that Google is going to recover and everything's going to be great? Of course not. But for me, I did grab some. I felt that the risk reverse the reward. We're sitting at the 200 SMA. If we snap the 200 and we start falling down to the 80s, I will cut it and take the loss, whatever it may be. I hope this video helps guys hit the like button, subscribe, comment, any tickers you want me to go and talk about down below. Always use proper risk management and thank you guys for all the support. Peace.